Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we pass a comma separated values as a parameter in BIP. So let's see the logic. So in this query, you can observe here, what are we trying to do is we want to pass the list of values as a set to the in clause. Nothing but user will be providing the list of party numbers separated by comma and by default, you know, like earlier functionality used to accept this comma separated values, but it doesn't work now in the BIP. So the logic here is what are we doing is we are we are splitting the provided input values which are in a comma separated into a level of multiple level of records. So that's why this in clause will simply perfectly work considering the list of values as an individual record and then we'll get the result. So the major important core logic of this logic is available using in this highlighted query. So now let us understand this highlighted query using like how does it split the data, the input, the input which we provide in a comma separate into multiple records. Let us understand that. So the logic here is you could observe there are very, there are two important keywords. The first one is regex sub str. The name itself says it's like extracting this. It, it extracts a partial portion of a string using regular expression logic. So we have a sub str without regex. We know how it does it work. But in this one, it is a regex, reg expression, regular expression underscore sub str. So it uses a regular expression logic with substring functionality. And the other one is a connect by level. So we'll try to understand from a simple words. So here you have, if you observe, there are four input parameters for the regex, regex under substring function. So the first thing is, what is the source input value? What is the pattern? the position and occurrence. So now the input value, what we are passing is a comma separated value. And what are we expecting in return as a multiple values like this, like individual records. We have provided the data as a single record and we are getting the data as a multiple rows. So how does it happen now? It happens based on this logic. Now let us understand this one by one. P underscore party number CSV is our input parameter. And this particular logic is for the purpose of finding out any string which is having a comma separated value. So it, it's like, you know, finding now in the given provider input, we have 31340 comma 31341. So it will try to find out whatever the occurrence of a comma and whatever the value you have before that, get me that value. So now in this one, what will happen is, so it will just find out the pattern. The pattern is a comma separated pattern. And this one is like a first occurrence. And this is like a level, like a, what exactly this level will do is here if you observe this level so it generates a row for each value as per our logic we mentioned connect by level so what does it do is like now let us say we have provided a party number and now minus length of replace this logic so what exactly this will do is now here we provided a party number and it will get the length of this one and also again it will try to get the length but provided by subtracting a comma from it and then we are again a performing a plus one. So ideally this particular connect by level will return you two records. Nothing but this regular expression substring will be executed two times. First one is for the first level. Second one is for the second level. And based on that, we'll be getting two records. Now we could observe one more functionality here. So now what is the, now here in this particular sample you could observe, I provided three values and the value is the value functionality as per regular expression is this value and the level is three levels. So this is how the logic works. Now let us see the same logic in our VIP. So now I have the first query you could observe here, which is with the based on a LOV query. So we know that like we can provide a value as a list of values using LOV logic, so nothing but list of values logic. So I have a parameter. I have a list of value parameter like where I'm passing the list of party numbers and then this party number V1, this party number V1 is a parameter which is based on the party LOV. And we have another parameter which is the party number CSV which is based on a CSV logic. Now, in this first query, which is based on LOV query, I just simply mentioned party number in colon P underscore party number version 1, which is based on a multiple list of values parameter. Now, coming to the second one, which is based on our, sec which is based on our regular expression logic. So, it's almost similar. Only thing is, the list of values, how we are passing is different. The list of values, how we are passing is different. And then I have another query G3, which is nothing but like, I want to find out what is the value. Now let us say, how does this regular expression is working? I just want to get the list of values provided by the input parameters. And also I want to find out how the levels are generated from this logic. So now we, by this, we can easily understand how the logic is happening. Now I'll just click on data. Now, for now, maybe let us say, I'll just not provide any input. 
I'll run it like this and see what will happen. So now what is happening? It says level one and there is no value because we have not provided any input parameter. Now, now let's say I'll just unselect the existing parameters and I'll try to select something new data. 31360, 31361, 31362 and click on view. Now what? We are expecting we'll get three records and here I'll just pass three one three six zero comma three one three six one comma three one three six two. So we should be expecting three records in the second query also. We got the same set of data six one six zero sixty two and we got three values here and also we got three level. So this is how we can use it and also there's one more in important information. See here if you observe on the parameter we have something called text field containing parameters this does not work so that is the reason we are going with an alternative logic of splitting the comma separated values as a multiple records using a rec expression with a connect by level logic okay thank you